Thursday, a group of dads are making their voices heard to honor fathers killed while in police custody. That includes George Floyd and Rayshard Brooks. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons joins us live with their story. Barmel. Yeah, today it was very energetic with the crowds. Now, Old National Entertainment planned a Father's Day march as well as a Juneteenth block party. Now, the march started right here behind me in this parking lot. Groups of people coming together, advocating and calling for black men to truly be a part of having their civic life in regards to advocating for reforms on policing as well as elections and minority contracting. I love being black. The next generation, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants are now saying to themselves, wait a minute, we want, we want what everyone else has. The event is one of several being planned by Southside residents called in response to recent killings by police of George Floyd and Rashard Brooks, all fathers. Black Lives Matter activist turned city councilman Khalid says true change begins when casting your vote at the polls. Black women have the highest voter turnout out of any demographic. And now it's time for black men to step up and start getting more involved. During the march, officers walk alongside protesters. Rapper Young Jock says during this protest, there is a bridging of the divide. Us working hand in hand and walking to promote what we're doing. And that's to try to engage in more peaceful protests. Councilman Khalid says America is being called to reimagine the police. We spend all of this money on, on police, but we have underperforming schools. We have less health care than anyone else. We have fewer job opportunities. Black, Event co-sponsor Tori Tomlinson, CEO of Old National Entertainment, says it's an event for the community, an event where voices will be heard. This is a way for a lot of our people to vent and be heard. Um, you know, instead of Facebook, instead of talking about it in the barber shops and at work, here we're going to set a platform for you all to get it off your shoulders and, and let your voices be heard. Yes, and what an astounding event it was. People coming together and getting their voices heard. Now, organizers say as a whole that they wanted to make sure the South Side united and were trying to set an example for everyone else to come. In Atlanta, I'm Barma Lyons, CBS 46 News.